The physical structure goes back to about 1811, and then it was used as a lecture hall for enslaved blacks. Then when the Civil War began, the blacks continued to worship in this structure in 1861 and actually established it as an official congregation in 1863. It has been here in the heart and the heat and the mist of Reconstruction. While the wars were raging all around, formerly enslaved persons assembled in this space and they prayed monthly. And then when the Emancipation Proclamation was read, they drafted resolution to the then president of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. And we see that document is now a part of the Abraham Lincoln Papers in the Library of Congress. That says a lot about a people, their faith, their commitment to freedom. And certainly those stories are only recorded in these unique spaces along this course.